Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. And in today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at this laser engraver from Elegoo. This is their Fecta 20 watt laser engraver. And I'm just doing a little bit of a video here showing how large the box is and how this is all packaged in here. I just was not able to put this onto my normal filming table. This one comes with the air assist uh, blower. It also comes with a tumbler sort of uh, mechanism so you can engrave like cups and things like that or circular objects, which I'll show a little bit later just in the video. Uh, this has an air filtration system, all kinds of really cool stuff as part of this laser engraver. So as you can see, lots of different pieces and parts in here. I'm going to go ahead, take all these out, put them on my overhead shooting table, and uh, we'll do a quick time lapse of me putting it together while I do some voiceover. Now, the one thing that I realized after I unboxed this and took all the pieces out is that there is one piece of a plexiglass front um, laser like protector that goes on the machine that did not come in the package. And I looked through the whole box and all of that and I could not find it. So I did contact Elegoo about that and I'm still waiting to get uh, a response or to you know receive that piece of this overall thing. So this video is gonna be filmed. It, I mean, it is what it is. It's gonna be filmed without that front piece. <clears throat> so keep in mind that I believe everyone should have that and it was just missed in the packaging. That being said, you can see here, I'm kind of going through following the directions and putting this together. And it's fairly easy to put together. They give you all the tools that you need to assemble this. There's a bunch of labeled packets of uh, screws and things like that, as well as the manual that you can go through and use to follow the directions. Now, the one thing I did after the fact is I did find a... Uh, a video on YouTube from Elegoo that shows the steps to do this. And I would recommend actually using that video uh, if you're going to put this together because it's a little bit easier to follow than the directions because the, the images in the directions are pretty small and it's hard to kind of see what you're actually supposed to do um, just by looking at that. Although I did do it that way, it probably took me an extra half an hour because I couldn't figure out a few different parts of how to get it together, especially once you get to the point where you have to put that crossbar on and then put the motor and that, um, uh, you know, all the pieces together so that it can uh, motor, the motor can work to move that, um, the laser head and, and things like that back and forth. So other than that, it was pretty straightforward to put together. Um, you just have to have some patience, I guess. And like I said, it, it would probably be easier if you watch the video instead of just looking at the manual. So this is the whole thing put together. It also includes this uh, table um, that you can put at the bottom, at least in the package that, that I received. It has this table so that you can put your uh, materials on there when you're cutting or etching and, and whatnot, and it kind of protects whatever's underneath your uh, underneath the device, um, you know, from getting damaged. Now, from a specs perspective, this does have a 20 watt laser. It has a 400 by 400 millimeter uh, engraving area. Has smoke filtration, a flame detector, tilt detector, and some optional accessories, including a rotary attachment, like I mentioned earlier, and an air assist. Now, there's a couple different ways to interact with this to print or to etch or cut. Uh, you can use an, a mobile app, which has basic functionality, will connect to this over Wi-Fi. You can use a USB cable to plug into your computer, or you can load things on a, a compact flash card and then just use the interface on the laser engraver to actually etch or cut those files. So I just wanted to also mention that this does optionally come with this air assist pump, which you basically can hook up using the included tubing. And that then you can route uh, through the frame and across, across the laser head here. 
and it can, will connect down at the bottom of the laser to blow air, to blow air right where the laser is uh, engraving or cutting. So I have not yet installed this, but this is an optional piece of equipment that can come in the package to basically allow you to get a little bit better of a cut if you're trying to cut through deeper materials because it's blowing uh, some of the uh, debris out of the way, etc. right? So that optionally comes in this package. And then also there is a motorized tumbler where you can actually uh, connect this to the board of the, the laser engraver and set it up if you want to engrave on like tumblers or cups or something like that that's uh, flat or um, kind of like a, a cylinder, like a glass or something like that. And as the laser is engraving, these rotate and it will rotate your object. So I will have to check this out and probably take a look in a separate video. This does seem to be a little bit more complicated to get set up and I'm gonna need some more time to figure out how to get this to work with the software and everything. But this is another cool accessory that you can get with this laser engraver. But all in all, as you can see, I did set this up. I had the time lapse at the beginning of this video showing putting it all together. It took me about an hour, I would say, to get it put together. I did install the laser cutting software on my laptop. I plugged that in. And here I'm just doing some initial testing with this and I have some metal like business cards that I used in the past and I was using the the software to, to etch a little bit of a Cybertruck logo, the Cyber Beast, um, as you can see, the three-headed Sybaris. And um, the one thing I noticed when I was doing this is that I did not have the power set correctly. And you'll see here after this is done, like I had it at the max power and it warped the card pretty bad. So I will go ahead and show that I did that again as well with a lower power setting and it came out a little bit better. But um, yeah, as you can see, obviously uh, using the laser GRBL software, I loaded up the image and went ahead and just let the printer and here I'm just doing that one again with the lower power setting. And as you'll see in a second, it turned out much better. So this one did turn out a little bit better. I did not get it centered on the card. That was my fault as well. But as you can see, um, much better from a material perspective because I didn't warp the card. So that's one thing I did notice. You, it, since this is a 20 watt laser, you do have to be kind of aware of what the power settings are on different materials so that you can get the optimal performance. So here I just uh, found a Tesla logo on the internet and I'm using one of the little um, like tags or little things that was included in the package from Elegoo, which is, looks like a little dog tag, a heart, heart shaped thing. And I went ahead and etched the Tesla logo on there. And that actually turned out pretty cool. Again, I'm having issues just centering things and making sure that it's like <laughs> aligned because this is totally unaligned, uh, but it's actually pretty neat. Now, I did not show a few other tests that I tried on the using this laser cutter. And one of uh, the reason was, is I was doing this in my basement. And even with the filter cartridges installed, it was just really making a lot of smell, right? So whenever you're trying to do cutting or burning of wood, uh, I was having some issues. And I didn't want to kind of do that because, uh, you know, I was getting too much smoke in the basement. So I will need to move this to my garage to kind of test out some of the other cutting features because because of just the amount of smoke that it makes, even though there is a smoke filtering exhaust. I mean, it is what it is. You're cutting wood and things like that. Um, that being said, uh, this is actually a really cool device. It it's going to take some practice and some, uh, you know, expertise to get the most out of this, I feel. Uh, and I need to just over time kind of play around with this and, and learn a little bit more about the materials and, you know, get the hang of etching and cutting. But definitely, if you are looking for something that has a 400, you know, kind of uh, millimeter squared engraving area, a, a, a powerful device, this might be something you might want to look, look into. 
Now, the package that I had or was looking at was the US-based 20 watt uh, uh, laser with the additional rotary attachment and the uh, you know, hunting comb, working panel, and the air assist, and all of that stuff, which is what I'm showing here on the screen. Now, you can get some uh, like a lower powered laser or a lower package, and it wouldn't cost as much money. So, definitely something to take a look at. Uh, there's a lot of options from Elegoo in how you kind of uh, you know assemble a package that includes all of the things that you would like, and um, yeah, to get the best value uh, for yourself and your needs. And I think what I'm going to have to do here is probably do a follow-up video after I've used this for a while because I do plan on using this for some different uh, uh, projects. So once I do that, I'll probably film a follow-up and go into a little bit more detail on some of this, uh, uh, some of my experience. Uh, but anyways, I will link to this in the description so you can check it out. Definitely go to Elugu's website, you know, take a look at this if you're interested in this laser engraver and cutter. This is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.